My college year is at UCSD. It feels surreal to be a new grad, and as I sit down and took some time to reflect on my four-year journey, I decided to share it with you guys. The past four years have definitely been more than just a stroll in the park. Amongst the difficulty, it was also a lot of fun, a lot of growth, personal and academic-wise. And I got to see a lot of ideas, opportunities, and places that I didn't know existed. College was a first for me in many aspects, whether it be first Deltopia, first time having a dorm and living independently, exploring different countries, So cheers, let's take a walk down memory lane. My first stop off campus in Ivy has to be Freebirds, which I recommend every person who visits UCSD to try, whether it's for lunch or after a night out. And then my very favorite smoothie place is Blenders. Java Juice cannot. Also, they give free supplements. And then I beat Ellie Mart. I'll always remember getting their buffalo chicken cheese fries after a night out with my friends. And then Blaze. Thank you, Blaze, for the bathroom, but also Pi Day. And then I walked past Ivy Theater, where is actually where I had my freshman orientation, a lot of my first classes, and movie nights. And welcome to Santa Rosa Hall, my very first dorm in freshman year. This place holds a very special place in my heart, whether it be my very first home away from home, or where I met my very first roommates, which came along with a lot of bonding sessions in that room. And then it became a place where we would meet up with all of our friends that year. This tiny dorm holds a very, very special place in my heart and a lot of fond memories. It's bittersweet to say goodbye. Next off is DLG. And over there is where I would leave Santa Rosa to walk over to the Dining Commons. The Dining Commons will always remind me of a place where I could bond with my friends and sometimes cop some food back to the dorm. Next off is Campbell Hall, which also holds a lot of memories, whether it's those large freshman classes or my very first and second BCN. And next stop is San Rafael Hall, my second year home. I love the upgrade of the room, but this year was also one of my toughest years ever. It's crazy to look from the outside now that I am way beyond my years at that time, and I thank all my friends that year. And now I take you to our university center, which by day looks like a campus store and food court, but at night it held some of my favorite concerts, including Khalid and Robotalk. And here's Stork Tower, just because I love looking at it. Guess where we're going next? Surprise, not surprise, it's the beach. I love coming here just for a walk or a fresh in mind. Something about just pondering here and being in this moment, whether it's day or nighttime, brings me at ease. As we make our way back into IV, we come across theater and dance, which reminds me all of those VSA GMs. And this light tunnel, which I love walking past so, so much and never gets old. Enter Woodstocks. While this place reminds people of pizza, it reminds me of my way to my very first apartment. This place holds so many memories, whether it's teaching me how to be a better cook or all those movie nights, whether it's inviting other people over for food, some weird moments, wine and movie nights, and even TikTok. Can you guess which one this one is? Yeah, I'm not really a dancer. 
As we continue down the road, COVID inevitably happened, which affected everyone's lives. And while we tried to make the most out of it in shelter in place, it would be a lie if I said that I wasn't affected, especially as a graduating senior. The post-grad career hunt can be daunting and restless, and sometimes we just need to take a pause. And while I'm still anxious about many things, you know, at the age of 17, my father escaped a war-torn country alone on a boat. The chances of survival were not high, but he along many others who never gave up on their goals somehow did it. I'm still unsure of many things, but one thing I am sure of is human resiliency. I dedicate this degree to my family who never received formal education. Cheers to all first-generation students. Now I also wanted to share some clips of people outside of BTSB who also made a huge impact in my college years. Whether it's the people I met while studying abroad, or my work friends at Autodesk who taught me that it is possible to love the people you work with. Gosh, I miss those Zoom meetings. And of course, some of the people that have been by my side since forever. I am present today because of all of you today. Cheers to the class of 2020. I'm sure you've heard this already, but we all did it. Thank you for following me on my journey. To everyone I cross paths with, thank you. And to all seniors who may need to hear this, this is my favorite quote. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone and one we intend to win. And while I don't know what your goal or struggle is, I know that you have it in you to win.